Anyway. Yeah, so so basically after she dated the bad boy, she said she changed. She was a new person and she decided found God. Yeah, found God. And women tend to find God around like twenty seven to like thirties, early thirties, <laughs> because because it's in like times running out, so they need to base it's a mating strategy, so they need to basically say, I'm more pure than I actually am. And like I'm a higher value woman than I actually am, basically. Part two to the I dodged a bullet dating story from the early, early panty days. It's part two because I talk so much. I'm working on it. I don't I'm I don't know. I don't know how to cut it down, you guys. But at this point I've accidentally sent a screenshot of a text between me and a guy to that guy instead of my friend. Not that big of a deal. He easily handled damage control. He says that he thinks I'm fucking with him and breaks up with me. And I'm like very sad about it. Very sad because I felt like, oh my God, I felt bad. I was like, he thinks that I like broke his trust and I've been like sharing like our whole conversation or like intimate details or anything. And again, like what intimate details? Because like <laughs> we couldn't even see each other. But I get that feeling. I was like, I feel so bad that he feels that way. And I was like devastated. I was like, oh my God, he thinks I'm like a mean girl and I, I this sucks. And I'm also feeling like, <gasps> like uh, so super vulnerable because in my mind I had like sent him like uh an intimate photo which is laughable now I'm gonna literally put the photo here because it's not <laughs> it's not anything like I am more nude as I say as you can see in the screenshot in a lot of my like work photos but this was like real this is like me enjoying my actual life and I had like sent it to him so it like felt more intimate to me and then to be like met with this like instantly like being broken up with I was like oh my god again the whole thing's funny because it's a, it was a text a text panty relationship but he sent me the screenshot of his brother checking because his brother called me his girlfriend he was like his, he sent a screenshot of his brother texting him saying how's my girlfriend tonight and him saying back to his brother we broke up does it sound like we're 12? Because that's how it felt. So I cry about it for like a solid day and I'm feeling shitty about it. And then I'm like, whatever. If reality sinks in of like, you didn't actually know this person. It's gonna be fine. Regular panty, here we are. We don't talk for a little bit. And then he reaches back out, out of the blue because he so desperately wants to tell me this story of how he ended up taking a shower with his brother and his brother's lover. Thrilled for a bisexual moment for him, delighted. No issue for me at all. It was that he had already made too many weird <laughs> sexual innuendo and undertones and stories about his brother to begin with. And I thought, wow, dodge that bullet. Nice cap on my convo with Claire. I got no kids. I got, I got my own mo motion going on. Flag. Huh? What? Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. What you about to say? Why the... Listen, I know, like, having sex before marriage is bad, but it's 2022. Like, what has gone on in your life that you have not had a kid? I don't have kids. You're different. Like, but for men, it's just kind of like, why don't you have a kid? What happened? Because I don't, I don't want a kid yet. Maybe I'm have... responsible. What you... It's huh? not responsible, like, especially if a nigga's like, mad. <laughs> I'm 30 years old, grinding stacking this money up and because i don't have any kids or no baby mamas i'm a red flag that is some backwards ass thinking right there like what the fuck so me having multiple baby mamas is a green flag to you that's why the black community is where it's at right now bro this shit is crazy Now you might be wondering what's going on in this clip. We have a girl working out and a guy walking about a mile behind her to go do something else across the gym. He doesn't give her the time of day and he quickly and quietly arrives at his destination. And at first glance, you might think this is just a girl staring blankly into space with not a thought in her empty head. And you'd be absolutely correct. Nothing else happened in that video, despite her poor and pathetic attempts to make it look like it did. This should be illegal. This was about a two minute video of useless footage that I managed to cut down into 14 useless seconds. But that doesn't change the fact that these two unfunny, uninteresting and unintelligent girls tried to make this poor innocent guy look bad because they're so desperate for the attention that their parents deprive them of. I'm not sure it's possible for him to have been any less interested in these girls. I wonder if she's okay after that kind of rejection. I don't look okay. Last night the video had over 2 million views and surprise surprise, comments were turned off. I wanna know why. Not only on that video, but on her entire account. So I thought, why not give her the attention she's starving for? <laughs> They're trying so hard to be fitness creators, it's painful. <laughs> 
I'm not sure which one of these girls the account belongs to as they seem to share a brain cell and a personality. Oh. But they even went so far as to tag Gymshark in the garbage that they post, as if they're gonna get sponsored. Normally brands like to sponsor creators who know how to make content that people actually wanna watch. Oh my god! And not desperate, insecure wannabes who have to falsely accuse random people in the gym to get views. To be recorded is just another level of comfort zone being tested. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? We went to therapy today. I will always serve my husband's food on his plate for him, no matter where we are. Whether it's at home, a family's house, a restaurant, I will always get the food and put it on his plate for him. Reason being, he leaves our house every single day and works his ass off to provide food for me and my son and a roof over our head. Something so small that I can do to say thank you to him and to show him that I appreciate him is serve his food. Relationships are give and take. They're a team. There's two people in a team. And if one person is putting in the work, it's not going to work. Both of you need to do small things to show each other that you appreciate each other. So I want to know what do you do for your significant other? What do you do that's something big or small that make them feel special? And what do they do for you to make you feel special? I always get asked, why are you single? Why are you single? You must have so many options. And the reality is I do, but there's shit. Look, I'm going to keep it 100% here. Y'all can say whatever about how I talk, but I'm sticking to G-code. There's a lot of fool shit y'all be doing that I'm not comfortable doing. I'm not going to date a hobosexual. I'm not going to play the makeup breakup games i don't give a fuck if you always come home bitch you should have never fucking left i'm not playing the last woman standing game i'm not going to entertain you if you're entertaining multiple people i'm not fucking taking or married men i'm not doing none of that shit and i'm also not going to accept somebody who's not equally yoked to me in matters of emotional intelligence actual intelligence financial capacity i've got high standards and high expectations and i want somebody who's not degraded morally and the reality is i will stay alone until i find that i will die alone if i don't when a man is pursuing me he is never competing with other men He's not competing with the attention that I give other men. He is competing with the peace that my solitude brings me. If you don't bring me more peace than I can obtain by my lonely, I am all the way good on being with you. I am cool alone. Yes, I want to love and I want a man to cherish, but it can't just be anybody, you know? Women are not intellectually capable of making their own decisions properly to safeguard themselves. For instance, we're talking about the drunk thing. A woman should understand you don't go nowhere. If you if you want to get sloppy, knocked down, drunk, you need to be in the house That's right. by yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't family. stop going to these parties, getting so out of sorts that you can't that you can't consent to what's going on around you. That means that you are so out of your mind. Mm that you don't know up from down mm -hmm. and then getting mad that some creep somewhere decided to take advantage of the situation. Now that doesn't make him right, but at the same time, at what point in society do we actually hold women to the accountability of being an adult?